welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So as you can see, today the Camaro is on the lift because it will be finally getting its first performance modification installed. And I'm so looking forward to this because this is something that I've been wanting to get on the Camaro since the first day I bought it because it's just so quiet. I really can't enjoy it when I'm driving it on the street. And it's so well insulated inside. The only way that I can really hear it is if I put the windows down and I really step on it, but that's not really feasible for every day because A, I can't be driving like that on the street 24 seven and B, it's summer here, the days are 105 degrees plus. So it's not exactly the right weather to drive with your windows down, but I'm so, so excited. And if it's not already obvious, the Camaro is getting an exhaust <laughs> installed today. But before we go ahead and talk more about the exhaust, let's go ahead and bring it out. Okay guys, so here it is. So this is a full catback exhaust by AWE Tuning. It's their non-resonated track edition, so there's no resonators, no mufflers. This right here is the front section of the exhaust. This is the middle section with the X pipe. And this right here is the back section without the tips. And actually speaking about tips, I believe they're in this white box right here. Let's take this out and open it. A lollipop in here that's oh this is actually one of my favorites <laughs> that was actually a nice surprise thank you awe so these tips these are the ones that i chose uh these are the black diamond tips and i really do like how shiny and clean they look i don't really want to touch it to get my fingerprints on them but i really i really do like them so now <laughs> let's get this closed so why AWE and not other common systems like Borla or Corsa? Well, there's a few reasons why I decided to go with them. So the first reason is since I do take the Camaro to the track and there's a local track that I do like going and it does have a sound restriction. Some of you may know that I did have to cut the tips off of the stock exhaust and I no longer have to do it with this system because it does have already the removable tips. Now, the only thing that I have to worry about is about getting those bi-directional pipes that I do have to add to the end of the tips and I think that I'm going to attempt on doing that myself instead of taking it to the shop but we'll see we'll figure that out once we're closer to that track day now the second reason is because of weight I mean let's face it this car does have some pretty good weight to it already so this is pretty much straight pipe so I'm already saving a lot of weight with this so that's always a plus and now another reason is because I have heard other Z01s that do have Borla and Corsa and although they do sound good, they do sound very loud, I did hear a Z01 that had this AWE tuning exhaust and I just absolutely loved it. It was just so much more unique and it just spoke to me more, the sound, the tone, everything about it. Now, the last reason is because you really can't beat the price for this system. At least the way that I have it configured, if I were to get like the most extreme one for Borla and for Corsa, it would have been way more pricier. So I'm really happy with the price with pretty much it's the same quality. But now let's go ahead and get started. I do have to lift the Camaro up. I already filmed the cold start and already some drive-bys with the stock exhaust. So I'll go ahead and put that towards the end of the video just so you guys can see the before and after but before we do get started since I am going to be installing an exhaust today I will need my helper so let me go ahead and bring her out then we can lift it and get started on removing the stock exhaust So in order to remove the stock exhaust, let's start here towards the back. So I need to remove these valve connectors. So there's one here and then there's another one on the other side. Then there's two bolts that I need to remove. So that one up there, there's that second one and the same thing for this side as well. Now if we move here, we have four rubber mounts that I need to remove the exhaust from. So that's one, that's two, the third one, 
And then here's the fourth one. Now remove your, I do need to remove this brace as well. And then all the way here towards the front, I need to remove these O2 sensors. So that's one, that's two. And then after that, I'm gonna need to remove these bolts. So there's two bolts on this side and there's only one on this side. There's far less things in the way on this car compared to the Nissan GTR. So it should be easier. There's only one thing that I'm concerned about and that is that this exhaust all comes out in one piece. So that's gonna be really heavy and just a little bit complicated to remove. But I do have the support of these, of this part of the lift and I do have the auxiliary jack that I did purchase because I knew I was going to be removing the stock exhaust from the Camaro. So let's see, hopefully that works out and that helps me. <laughs> but also, I know some of you were asking me more about my dog. <laughs> so this is Sasha. She's a five-year-old German Shepherd and she's usually not this calm, but she's very tired right now because she was playing outside. She's not that friendly. She's only friendly with uh, her family and the other dogs in the house. <laughs> but yes, everyone, this is Sasha. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so as soon as I put the auxiliary jack under the exhaust, and then I came right here to the front and I was gonna start pushing this side just to take off the exhaust, I quickly, quickly realized that I was not gonna be able to do this by myself because I was afraid that the back part of the exhaust, so the muffler was just going to fall violently and hit this part of the lift and just Something was gonna go wrong, either, I don't know, something was gonna go wrong with the exhaust or either hurt myself. So then I remember seeing videos that they were either two or three people removing the stock exhaust. So I did need help, but not from Sasha because she's just too short. <laughs> So I did tell Chris and then it, Chris did help me removing the exhaust and it's funny because he did warn me before he's like you're not going to be able to remove this exhaust by yourself and I was like it's fine I did the Nissan GTR exhaust by myself but yes and let me tell you that it was extremely extremely heavy so this is what the stock exhaust looks like oh and before I forget so now that I removed it I realized that I didn't have to take off this O2 sensor so I'll end up connecting it back but this is what it looks like. It's so heavy and it's so long. This probably measures like, I don't know, no less than 10 feet long. Check out the muffler, it's huge. So now, before the fun part starts, we do need to do some cutting here. So in this front section, like probably around here at an angle on both sides, but before I do that, I need to make sure that I measure it with the front part of the AWE exhaust. So once we do the cutting, then we can put these uh, secondary cats back on and then we can start with the AWE Insta. So let's go ahead and get cutting. Okay guys, so I just finished cutting the front part of the stock exhaust and that was pretty scary because I had to use a reciprocating saw and it's just so big and bulky and just so heavy. Let me show you actually. So this is it right here and it's just so heavy and it actually brings back, <laughs> it doesn't bring back good memories because I remember using it to do the resonator delete for the Shelby GT350 and I remember just being under the quick jacks and that's not, 
the largest amount of space and just using that reciprocating saw that's so long it was so so uncomfortable but i have to say that this time it was way better because i had more space but i was still a little bit scared because you never know anything can happen but either way so this is it these are so these are the tips that i cut right here i think i did a pretty good job maybe not a perfect job but <laughs> it looks pretty good and this is it right here so those are the secondary cats i already went ahead and connected uh the o2 sensor so now i can finally start building the awe exhaust so i'm gonna start off by putting the front part and then building on the way through All right guys, so the AW exhaust is finally on. Are you guys ready to see it? All right, so let's go under here. So the bolts are already tightened, the tips are aligned, but this is how it looks from underneath. So we no longer have that squished part towards here, towards the back, so it's all three inch pipes all the way. And uh, there's just two more things left. <laughs> but before that, I do wanna show you this. So I do like this AWE bracing right here, I think that's a pretty nice and unique touch. And you can actually see it from like under here if you were to crouch down. I really do love that. And these tips, <laughs> check them out. I really do like them so much. They blend in very nicely with a diffuser. <laughs> so, so excited. All right, so the two things that I was talking about, now we just need to lower the car and then turn it on for that cold start. So hear how it sounds. I am so, so excited. Are you, Sasha? <laughs> I swear, she's excited in her mind. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do so. To be louder but like this I was like right on point it sounds aggressive mean it was exactly exactly what I wanted but I do have to say that I had to open up the garage because earlier when I did do the cold start it was outside but right now it's nighttime you know I'm a nice neighbor so <laughs> I just opened the garage just so we can get it as close as possible you know to the cold start earlier but now I'm dying to hear how it sounds outside just full throttle so let's go ahead well first of all i do need to clean up this mess and i can take the car out so i mean i get so excited let me clean up this mess right here then we can take the car out and finally finally hear how it sounds
home and have to say that after hearing the exhaust, I am absolutely in love with it. It's very loud. For not having headers, that exhaust is pretty loud. So if you guys want an exhaust without having to do headers, even though I will be doing headers in the future, this is the way to go. <laughs> I think the best part is just the exhaust pops and the crackles. They're just incredible, <laughs> amazing. Although I do have to say that there is drone and I was well aware that when I was ordering this exhaust that it was going to have drone. It's a funny thing because when I was ordering, AW actually told me, are you sure? They asked me like several times, are you sure you want this one? Because there is drone and I was like, yes, I want it when I drive my car. I just want to hear it and enjoy it. Back when I had my GT with an exhaust, it also had drone and I don't know, I'm a big fan of it. I know some people really don't like it, they can't tolerate it, but I just love hearing the drone. <laughs> and if you don't really like the drone, then I would probably recommend their touring version, which does have mufflers and it does have their 180 technology that just cancels out any frequencies or any drone you may not want. So that's probably the best one. That's the one that's most common, but like I said again, I really, really do like this one, so that's why I went with the track version. Now, I also took it on the highway because I just wanted to see how the drone was on the higher gear, so I had it around 2,000 RPMs on six gear, and you can still tell that the drone is there. It diminishes a lot, but it's very tolerable. Now, I've been in like many cars where it doesn't matter what you do, what gear you put it in, the drone is just insane, like you can't even think. But this just this one was very tolerable, I can still think. And I mean, it's not like I'm gonna put it on six gear <laughs> that much, but I absolutely love it. I am like, yes, I'm so, so excited with this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching now. I'm about to hop back in the Camaro and <laughs> just take another drive because I do wanna hear the exhaust. So I'll see you guys on the next one.